Yes. Welcome, world, to the sounds of Latent C, inspired by Emma Noble. They've calmed me to stretch. They call this man the vascular. They can't see him. Busy. Oh, time. I'm making a joint. Listen. Creation period, yeah? Creation period. Grand with the Drum roll, even at the end of the bar. Gonna get it tonight. Gonna get it tonight. Gonna get it tonight. Kom niet overmoedig voor mijn woorden, hoor. <laughs> Wat zeg maar? Kom niet overmoedig voor mijn woorden. <laughs> Nederlander. Uh, get Nederlander, it. toch? 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 Gonna get it tonight. Gonna get it tonight. Gonna get it tonight. Ik word bijna gelul. I can't even really get the words out. Gonna get it tonight. 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 Ga eerst oefenen. Gonna get it tonight. Sorry. I'm gonna get it tonight. I'm gonna get it tonight. What was that? I'm gonna get it tonight. 
Gonna get it tonight. Gonna get it tonight. Yeah, we can pick on that as well. Pick on that one as well. Gonna get it tonight. 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 Dog on the moon. Dog on you. Dog on the moon. Ooh. That flavour. Oven baked. Futsal bunk. Yeah, but what flavour? Natural. Really? Obviously different. No, different. It's, it's a prosecco. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crispy. Hmm? I'm going to beat you down. Gonna get it tonight or I am gonna get it? Gonna get it tonight. Gonna get it tonight. Oh, yeah. That cheese and cheese and uh, mm. the old school uh, cream cheese. Uh, what was it? Guys, are you? Mm -hmm. Old school was cheese and onion. That was the real old school. Then they went um, chive, chive, cheese and onion. No, sorry, it was chive and uh, herb, herbs and chive cheese, or something. Cheese and onion. That's the name of the track. Che no, it was a, you know cheese. that cream cheese and her, and uh -huh. and it was that cream cheese and spring onion was the flavour. Remember it because it was always in England. It was salt and vinegar. Cheese and onion, plain, and then they come out with paprika, eventually. Which is weird because that was, that's a pepper. That was when we was in the EU. <laughs> I, got, I got the letter from the overhead. What, this overhead? Yeah, from Nayla. What did they say? You are a British citizen? Well, officially, from March. That's it, we're out. So you got a letter that you need to apply for citizenship? or? N no, for right now, I don't need to do anything. Right now, yeah. and then they'll send me a letter. Let me know what I would need to do. Um, staying well, here or applying for well, staying here. I'm 17 years in the country. I've got a house. No, I've got a wife. I've got the kids. Were part of it. Well, it would be a, a a case of filling in a, a residency situation, becoming a resident. So I have a permit to stay here. I guess. But what if you write them a letter? I'm applying for an Irish passport. Well, this and is the thing. This is the disappears. thing. My English passport is valid till 2023. Mm -hmm. But my parents are Irish, so I can apply for an Irish passport. Irish and I have done that. I have done that. I've applied for it. I've said to them, like, send us, send us the... To, to, I don't know. I've, to, uh, I've sent them two messages and I've got, <laughs> got nothing. They're probably at a pub having, having a Guinness. Here's another one, monster. Here's another one, monster. Run over to Ireland. Yeah, give us a. Hey, the fucker, wait, sex, wait, the fucker. Hey, that's fucking shit. This is parents from Dublin. Any things he can come and now and get seventeen years in a fucking go fucking Dutch. Yeah, pissed at Temple Bar. Well, this is the this is my problem. I don't want to be Dutch. I don't want to hold a Dutch passport. Like you said, it's your problem. <laughs> no, but for the kids, it's for the kids. Your Dutch passport. The, the dual nationality, you know, I, I still think very much in, you know, if the world. If you get an Irish passport, the girls are right. Yeah, but the girls are cool anyway. They've got Dutch passports. Then what's your problem? There is no problem. Did you say that's my problem? No, but I am one of God knows how many thousands, you know, that have been out of the country. Listen, I, we, I, I, after 15 years out of the country, you can't vote in England anyway. I know. So I never had a chance to, to vote. Against leaving, you know what I mean. So it's irrelevant to me. But the fact is, I'm literally in no man's land. I don't have a voice. I don't have a voice. Not that it fucking matters. <laughs> you know what I mean. No one's going to listen to me anyway. You have the voice of God. They're going to find out soon. But you understand what I mean? It's like, okay, here's what it is. Let's deal with it. I've got this letter now. You know, and just his life, you take step by step. See how it goes. It's like they can't kick me out, you know? You're not going to get Gestapo coming in the door going, you, out. It's, it's, it's like the British did with the Dutch that lived there. They kicked the guy out, and he was working in England for like 20, uh, 35 years. And he has a family there, but he has a Dutch passport. He has his business there. I think he's a lawyer or something. What? It was on the what news was last October. 
and he had to apply in England. Yeah, but it was revoked, and he now has to move to Holland. He has nothing here. He doesn't apply I for understand. social security. Nothing. The British kicked him out. Really? It was a huge thing on the news. Really? Because he was Dutch, and he applied for citizenship, but it was cancelled. And he'd lived there for thirty-five years. Mm -hmm. But he came here, and then uh, he had to start all over again. And he's okay now. Yeah, and they showed yeah, that part still. Holy shit! Because everybody that was a Dutch person had to apply for British citizenship. Well. But yeah, yeah, Dutch passport. Man, man, man. They just well, look. It just goes to show the ignorance of 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 the system that's been adopted in England now. You know what I mean? My cousin posted. The funny thing is, like people are thinking. Like, um, like I never Brexit, I understand right? why they would Listen, leave. Listen, Brexit right. is, uh, is going to affect immigration, right? But the fact is, you mean now... in Europe or in, in the UK? In the UK. <laughs> they think it's going to stop the immigration. But the fact is, They're gonna have more the work. people in Europe will have trouble getting into the country. So the, so the people... The, listen, the people from the last 30 fucking years that have created these businesses that everybody can thrive on that all these little corner shops have, have become synonymous with local neighbourhoods. They go to London for a year to work, for right? business, for the office there. They're all now getting to kick the fuck out. They're getting problems with getting in. Right? Like a business visa. The first generations of Africans and the, the first generations of the Middle Easterns, technically, they're all fucking cool. And what's ironic is the most racist part of England are against black people and Muslims. So the vote was in in the radicalization of the last few oh, David Cameron needs fucking keep taken him out. out and hanging. Keep him out. Is that keep him out. Is that keep him out? Oh we're alright with the polls, they've been here fucking thirty years. Oh we're we're alright with the fucking yeah. like all that you know it's complete insanity what has happened. I know. Complete insanity what has happened. And it's no, you know, there's... The, you know, officially on the letter, March. That's it. We're done. We're out. Yeah. And there, in England, they still can't sort it out about a second referendum where people are like, well, actually, we're not clear on why we would want to leave. <laughs> so, actually, we know now a little bit about it. We're still not pretty sure, but... How like, what's going to happen? Money well, did this already the fact cost, is, Martin. the people that have been like digging the potatoes, picking the strawberries, actually putting food on your tables, the workers are actually not allowed in the country anymore. Because the they used to own the farms you... as well, and they brought in family to employ them, so it was a family business for 30 years. And now it's fucked. And now they've all got to go. So what English person is going to take over that farm? Not fucking many, mate. <laughs> Not fucking many. They all want to sit at home playing Fortnite. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Tweeting fucking shit on the fucking... On the Brexit oh, campaign. Are we still recording? Yeah, we're fucking recording uh, That's still. excellent. But yeah, no, it's like... It's madness. Madness what's gone on. Madness what's gone on. And that's just one of many scenarios. You know. I know. You know, it really is. It's, it's just insanity. But anyway, come back to the music we've got. <laughs> no man's land. <laughs> Brexit. I have no voice. But like, even the you know, they're quoting God. it. They're quoting Brexit right in the European Parliament. Like I, 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 I turned the news on for the first time in God knows how long, in like five years today, just to see. All right, have a look. Actually, I didn't even turn it on. I turned off not Netflix, and it goes automatically to one. Yeah. And the news came <laughs> up. And it was there, right? It, they're reporting from England and the European, uh, European Commission and all the rest of it. And I was like, oh, my God. Uh, we look like fucking it. And you've got Nigel Farage. Do you know who this cunt is? This Nigel Farage, right? Uh, he is the worst kind of fucking representative for England. Right? What, what's he's got no what is he, what fucking does neck. What does he do? What's his function? He talks shit. He's a, <laughs> That's all he's he a does. minister or a politician? Or he's what? a politician. Okay. Right? Um, and there was statistics or something that it was supposed to have appeared. Let's just say, for for example, because yeah. I don't know the, 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 the three figures, yeah, but yeah. you're supposed to appear 300 times within 365 days of a year at the European Commission. Yeah. Let's just say, right? You're As supposed you're to appear 300 times. Yeah. Right? You've got 56 days off. 
Yeah, it's pretty right. decent, two months. Turns out this cunt's turned up 100 times, <laughs> right? He's never fucking been there. He's turned up a couple of times to just go, throw a spanner in the works. I'll turn up and throw a spanner in the works. Like, the times he's turned up is just fucking, everything's just gone to shit. Who's supporting him? People are going, Nigel, sit down. But who's supporting him? In every kind of language in Europe. Who's supporting him? Mate, it's just insanity. Is he still supported now? Well, he's now the representative for the far right. He represents far right. So the far right chose him. He's talking to people that are linked with... Geert Wilders. All of these kind of people sitting down and smoking joints with these boys, mate. Do you know what I mean? They're playing guitars together and fucking singing Kumbaya to cunt. I'm the son of a preacher, man. Yes. He's exactly what he is. He's a fucking preacher, man. Jesus, man. Who's Graham? Oh, this is this is from Tafti. It's good that you've opened on me. Oh, geweldig. <laughs> geweldig. Anyway. Oh, they're lovely. Those. What they, they're Lay's now, aren't they, as well? They're the Lay's? Oven bake. Lay's oven bake. See, that's... Actually, that's quite ironic. That crisps, of all things... Well, the, th- the first impact that I noticed on the, um, I can't remember, was it the late 80s? Could have been late 80s. Because, no, could have been the middle of the 90s, because I left, I left the UK in 99. Mm-hmm. So it would have been the middle of the 90s. But the impact from the European Commission about the um, universal law... <coughs> Sort of the European laws, standard procedures. Mm. So certain flavors and certain companies became, you know, they changed names. Like, uh, we had Marathon was Snickers, is Snickers. Okay. Before it was Marathon. But it has to be all the same now. Well, it became. I mean, everyone. I remember mean, everyone saying, "What? <laughs> Listen, I'll take a bite of this. I run a couple of miles, yeah." It's marathon, mate. Marathon. Snickers. What the fuck is Snickers? Remember, I remember people talking about that. Remember nuts? The yellow paper? Yeah. Oh, yes. The same in the chocolate bar. It's like a chocolate bar nuts. What did it, came? What did it become? It's nuts. It was in the left. It used to be it's, it's not there anymore. Mm. Right, these kind of things. I you love see that shift. nuts. You see these things shift, mate. Well, n- nut allergies. That was probably what... You know what it is? But Snickers has been us. You know what it is? <laughs> we are, we are, the whole world has become Americanized. Yeah. We're all victims and must to fucking corporate America. I, I mean, we've always been victims. I mean, listen, the funny thing is, the Virginia company, the tobacco, yeah. the, the, the pilgrims, the fucking sons and daughters of evil itself is still owned by the Queen of England. And who owns the United States of America? I don't know. The Virginia Company. Yeah? Oh, yes. That's good. In fact, you'd have to go deep net. Actually, it's the Queen of England. You'd have to go deep net to find that information now. You'd have to go deep net or go deep in the... Dark web dot slash dot torrent site. They're removing all that information, mate. Why do you think they're taking out Syria, Iraq, and all of that? That was the fucking beginning of modern civilizations, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, no, it was, no, it was, no, sorry. It was the Romans. It was the white nations. It was, no, no, it was the white people. You know, Egypt is the end of African fucking history. Mm-hmm. The end of. Do you know what I mean? The Egyptians never got fucking how to build pyramids just like that. They got it from the fucking Africans, man. The Garden of Eden was Ethiopia. But if, if it was you, ever you have to go even deeper, deeper, deeper net on that. But chisel. I'm sure back in those days, the, in the, in Ethiopia, there was a lot but of what rain. Days, but what days? <laughs> when there was a lot of rain. But what days? When you look at when the, you know those those. Uh, in those days, days haven't even. Well, no, been those times yet. in history. What do they? You know when the when the continents shift. Yeah. You know there's there's specific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Africa fits into South America. Well, there's specific times when that those shifts happened, wasn't there? Did you they, see the movie Ice Age? 
No, yeah, the guy is. drops his nut and it cracks no, the earth. That's why I'm talking about it. I know, but I don't know history numbers. No, but history, history. there's certain phrases of when the continents broke up. There's certain time period names of those times. Ice Age? No. Oh. The Arpeggio. Up, 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 uh, the there was a time when the continents split. I mean, it's all guess fucking work. Well, not most. Well, most of it is guesswork. You more attention to history class than I did, because. Well, I funny know. enough, I found this out later on in life, because I became interested in, you know, that, uh, uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. You know, the ultimate question: Why are we here? I think what was actually what was it? Was it fifty-four? I can tell you, but if I do, I have to kill you. What was the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? It was the final number. It's terrible. How can I not know that? I need to read it again. But basically, the, the, he asked this master computer, right? Yeah, it's the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It used to be a series as well on the BBC. Mm -hmm. And the question is, what is, you know... What's our purpose? What is our purpose? What is it? And then it's basically, the computer has been chopping the numbers, and he comes back and, and gives her, like, a 34. <laughs> Sorry. What? Ah, 34. Yeah, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. There was a film as well that they made from it. But anyway, come back to the fucking music, man. I'm rambling. No? Well, ready where you are. Yeah, yeah. Why you got the headphones on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I couldn't spit it out, could I? Couldn't spit it out. That was you with your Lay's oven bakes, mate. <laughs> well, it's the late and see. The oven bakes. <laughs> check, check. Oh, my God. Gonna get you tonight. Gonna get it tonight. What is it? Links. Gonna get it tonight. Gonna get it tonight. Ooh. Come on. <coughs> Gonna get it tonight. Yeah? Let's do a test run. Gonna get it tonight. Gonna get it tonight. Gonna get it tonight. Gonna get it tonight. Gonna get to 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 tonight. Yeah, we can pick on that anyway and just play with it. Ah, do. Okay, that's it. <laughs> you weren't recording now, well. No. Mac nog niet gecrashed is volgens mij staan we nog steeds op I thought you were stacking mate, I thought you were stacking. No, no, no. <coughs> yeah, it's just that, we're gonna get you tonight. Oh, it doesn't work. Maybe we can even do it like, gonna get you tonight. And gonna get you tonight, you know what I mean? On the sample. Mm -hmm. Snappy? Yeah. Can we do that or are we doing... Well, we, let's live. go a little live thing, right, yeah? Go for it then, count me in. Gonna get it tonight. Uh, gonna get it tonight. Uh, yeah. Gonna get it tonight. Uh, 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 gonna get it tonight. Gonna, 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 gonna get it tonight. Ooh. 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 Missed that. Ooh. But I think I got it the, on the one before. So we got the gonna, gonna. It's still working. Echt wel lekker. Let's miss it. Yeah. See there, man. In there, rude boy. Yeah, it's good enough, right?
En dan quantize S. Ik weet niet of het gewerkt heeft. <laughs> Where's the MIDI? Where's the MIDI? On the MIDI. Here's the MIDI. Find the MIDI? I think this is a bit off. Later. 